those little towns I know so well I'll stop and for gas and then I'm behind the wheel again Driving this like a spiritual cleanse Where every mile is a new beginning And every bend holds a new end Eyes on the road, don't lose control I'm speeding fast to chase my soul I'm driving to get away My allocation of exercise is bike ride today, something different, and you probably can't hear me because of the wind. So I look like a mental person. Spent my time playing the game where every single day was a losing battle and every drink was a dead end. Just on my way to the workshop, bike ride was lovely, I'm all fresh and clean now and uh, yeah, we're going to head up there, grab some material and the bits that I need to get stuff done for today. Made it to the shop, literally can't even explain the feeling that I get when I walk in here. It just feels so good to be in the shop. And another good thing is, this is starting to dry out because of all the nice weather we've been having. That's not why we're here. And like I said, there's more important things that's taking priority right now for me not being in the shop. And that's okay, um, because my shop will be here when we're out at the other end. Let's quickly pick up all the essentials that I need, head back to the house and set up so I can build bigger projects at home. making my little space at home is actually realizing the difference um, between now and in the past obviously I've got my own workshop now and I've not really taken the time to see how much I've evolved and how much knowledge I've gained how far I've come and I'm one of those people that kind of beat themselves up a little bit too much but doing this today has made me realize how far I've actually come like having to go back to this small space. It's not a bad thing, it's actually a good thing. Um, it shows that you don't need a big space to do woodwork in. That's exactly where I started and I've just built from there. But I'm in a situation now where I can't use my workshop every single day. So I'm having to go back to where I started. I've got all these tools sat here. I've got these machines sat in this workshop, but I can't use them daily. Um, but hopefully, this is gonna push me to one, practice more on my hand tool skills. So I've got a couple of projects there for that. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll be notified when I post those projects. encouraging anyone out there who thinks they can't make things because they don't have the workshop this is proof that you can and well it will be proof that you can but even my first couple of videos were me woodworking in my dining room so yeah that's about it so now that we packed everything up i'm gonna pop that into the car and we're gonna head home and hopefully create this minimal workshop that i have in my head <laughs> I've decided to bring my festool back as well because obviously I'm in the house I'm going to be sawing and making a mess and I don't want to use the house hoover to uh, clean up the sawdust because it's not going to be as safe as this and I've got this so I might as well bring this with me. No. 
now I've got all the stuff in and I now need to rearrange the um, table. So I'm just going to clear all this away just so I can get access to the trestles. I'm going to transform this trestle setup. If you haven't seen that, that'll be in my temporary workspace vlog, which might have been um, number three. I'll put the link in the description for that anyway. If um, you haven't seen that, I would suggest watching that one and then coming back to this vlog. That being said, let's get this stuff organised and show you what I got in store for this minimal workshop. So only a couple more holes to go. <laughs> I totally underestimated how long this is gonna take to drill. <laughs> I've just finished drilling all those holes um, the reason I did them is so that I can use my festival clamps which you've probably seen in other project videos and that's something that I can carry back and forth with me to the workshop nice and easily so now that I've finished that I'm gonna use the spare sheet of MDF to um, just rest up against the wall that's opposite me where I'll hang my hand saws. Um, I'm not gonna screw that to my living room wall, but it's just gonna be resting um, and it should be safe enough as it is. That's the next step. pop a few screws in there to hold the rules, a few screws in there to hold the saws and then I'll probably make a bracket another day for the Uber. make a bracket as well for this another day and then potentially I've got room here to hang some other light items. So I've just finished setting everything up, I'll show you the way I set it up and why I set it up that way. As you can see, this is how I've um, adapted my workspace into a minimalist workshop. I've got my sustainers underneath, let's move this out of the way. 
and the reason I've got them four two facing this way and then two facing the other way is because I can get access to whatever I need inside that goes all the way up and I can lock them down this one I put my sharpening jig on top of my mallet because I don't need this one to open because it's drawers so I'll have easy access to everything when I'm walking around the table and then I've just got my um, blanks in there for carving some epoxy is in there and just odds and ends finish and then in these two sustainers it's the same easy access to things and I can still lock them off and they're my hand planes so it's a place for everything these are less used items this um, it's just sockets on a wrench and then I've got my drill bits here I've got my drill and my drill case and then to the left I've got my shop vac and obviously I've got my light if I need it I've got my camera tripod which I can put all the way around to get different angles and then last I've got this board which I made and I've put it on this wall like I said so this is where I'll work but because I can go all the way around which I tend to do when I'm working especially on bigger projects I've got easy access to it if I need to that'll be it this is the end of the vlog I'm gonna have some food enjoy the rest of the night probably organize the project which I have in mind and I'll be utilizing everything that I've created so if you haven't already subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss that video if you're already subscribed thank you very much and I will see you in the next one bye I wasn't looking and then he crashed into you.